joining us from uh, Kuala Lumpur is Tan Teng Bu. He's CEO of Capital Dynamics Asset Management, overseeing around about $350 million in assets. Tan Teng Bu, thanks very much indeed for joining us. First of all, we are seeing declines today. Thank is you. it really down to what happened in Europe? Because we certainly didn't get the lead from the, uh, the US, which, of course, finished positively. Uh, yes, I, I guess you have to blame it on Europe because that is the eye of the financial and economic hurricane at the moment. And the situation in Europe is worrying because the political solutions are coming at a pace that is not fast enough to overcome the fundamental economic and financial problems. If we look at what's happening out there, though, we do see, you know, many people talk about this notion of decoupling of emerging markets, actually decoupling from the developed markets, but we're seeing actually developing markets actually underperform those developed markets by something like 17, 18 percent so far. Uh, I think it depends on which market you're looking at. For example, a market like Manila uh, has helped better than, say, the German DAX. But generally speaking, you're right. The developing markets seem to have underperformed, even, for example, NY. Uh, the decoupling, I think, is more at the economic level rather than at the uh, equity market level. So what happens next? I mean, you don't have a favoured market, do you, at all? And you're staying clear, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, we, we don't have any favoured markets at this point in time. But I guess, I think, Richard, one has to remember that the markets generally fell off the cliff in the last two months. And economic data that has been coming out has not has been as bad as what the way the way the markets have uh, behaved and I think the first phase of this bear market has been probably due to uh, a lot of fears a lot of panic and all attention would be basically focusing on uh, the solutions coming out of Europe and if we think that the solutions will be probably too late to prevent uh, bigger problems from coming out from Europe and when that happens I think the uh, emerging economies and the emerging markets would probably face another leg down and to answer your earlier questions I think uh, we as value investors we are looking for not just attractive buys I think we are looking for screaming buys, buys that really scream at you uh, Ted Zengbu, thanks so much for your time. Uh, Capital Dynamics uh, Asset Management there.